Good morning. Today we are going to PO Mini Spares once I get this in the car. So my mate Alex said to me, who you seen in the last video, mate, why don't you try PO Mini Spares? Um so I said, you know what? Might as well. I always normally use um Uddersfield Mini Spares or Mini Sport for what I'm doing. So I thought, well, why not jump in the car and get to PO Mini Spares and see what it's about. But first things first, I need petrol again. Oh, it's never ending and it's absolutely freezing. It has stopped raining, but let's go. Okay, good to go. So, I'm using to film a GoPro Hero 3. Now, there's probably some people going, Ugh! Hero 3. Now, I used to have an Hero 3 back in my mountain biking days, so I thought, why not pull it out of the drawer, bring it out of retirement, and see if I can film a YouTube vlog on it. So if it comes out shocking, apologies, but now you can do beggars can't be choosers. Let's hit the roll. even the sun's coming out mini over there there's the dog right let's head in and uh, get what we need so PL mini's done I've got all my bits I've got a few bits that Alex needed as well um thought well I mean I might as well pick him a few bits up ended up buying him new shock absorbers which he knows so so it's the first time I've ever been to PL minis and I've just dealt with Lisa. Now, really nice person. So, the thing that I'm most impressed about with PL Minutes is some of the parts that they do, the more genuine parts rather than just kind of Chinese, well, Chinese shite. I bought a few bits, I'm not gonna say where from, but I'm not kind of entirely happy with the fit, so I had to like buy it again. So, one of Toon's top tips, don't buy shite. Buy the decent stuff and you won't have to buy it again and waste more money. So I'm going to get home and then I'm going to unbox and tell you exactly what I've got. Because now I'm a YouTuber. I might as well uh, do an unboxing video and make you wait and see if I can get you to watch the videos a little bit longer than what you're already watching. So I shall see you when I'm back in the garage. Be seeing you. Now, if you are a Golf R owner, an Audi S3 owner, or own a car that makes a really ridiculous noise when you go under an underpassage, you'll know you can't drive through an underpassage without doing this. Bring this down. Be as antisocial as possible. <laughs> oh, I'll never grow up, but I don't want Okay, so you now join me back in the garage. Now, it is later in the day. I had a few of the bits I needed to take care of. Unexpected things, so... But I'm still getting the video out in the same day, so... Stick with me on that one. Right, now, what did I get from PL Mini Minispares? First of all, rear shock absorbers. I was going to still run the standard ones on the back, which I already had, because it's not such a big deal. But I thought, do you know what? I've already changed the front, or I will be changing the front. What's the point? I might as well just put a full new, full new set on. The reason why I haven't got the same as the front, which I'll explain in a minute, is that I don't feel you need to go as wild on the back as you do the front, because the most of the weight is on the front of the car. So, shock absorbers, pair off, you get all the bushings and everything with them, and they're not that expensive. So, I'm not going to tell you how much they are, because you'll be able to do it on the internet, and I don't talk about money. Secondly, gas adjustable shock absorbers. Now, I did put a poll on Instagram a couple of weeks back, and said which shock absorber should I go. I know the majority said go Protec, but I kind of just thought, 
I like the look of gas, I'm going to stick with gas, and that's what I've done. So, gas shock absorbers for the front. K and air filter. I've gone K and air not because I want to get a super fast mini and go really, really quick. Um, the fact with K and air fillers, which I will be changing one on the golf as well, is you get such a long time out of them as opposed to standard air filters, and then you get the added bit of performance, which for me is a benefit if I get it. If I don't get it, I'm not entirely bothered. So, K and air filter. The main reason I went to PL Mini Spares is for this bad boy. My new grill. So I've wanted this grill for ages. I was gonna stick it on last year, but I thought, do you know what? It'll give me something to do in the winter time. So I've got a brand new grill, along with a brand new surround for it, because the surround that I currently had was a little bit shy. So I've got a brand new surround, obviously with the with the side guards. I've also got the trim which goes along the back of the surround as well to stop it rubbing on the body so i've got two of those because the one that's on my red mini is a little bit worse to wear so i thought i might as well do it because it costs pence to do it so i might as well do that and have it looking a little bit more presentable and i don't think one of them is going to affect the original it's a bit too much and one of them's got down there somewhere i'll find that later on Boot hinges, chrome ones, I thought I'd get a little bit more bling on the car, so chrome ones it is. I'll tell you the reason why I got chrome in a minute. New rear bumper. Now, I did pay through the nose for this, but it's a genuine part. Now, I did get a rear bumper from somewhere else, and the boot hinges were catching on it when the bumper was fitted even though I tried everything, tried adjusting the bumper tried doing everything to it but the boot wouldn't open properly and it ended up scratching the blue hinges that are on it so I thought well what I might as well do is take the bumper off, take the hinges off, replace them with chrome hinges fit a proper front, not front bumper proper rear bumper and then the bumper that I've got on the back I can transfer to the front because I had to cut the front one off because the bolts were rusted on solid uh, and that concludes that. What else did I get? Ah, gaskets for between the boot and the hinges. Got those. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my parts haul from p and Mini Spares. Now, I just want to say this customer service in p and Mini Spares is absolutely unbelievable. I would highly, highly recommend them. And like I say, like I briefly said before, the parts that they do, they do sell more genuine parts. They are a bit more pricey, but at the end of the day, if you're either restoring a Mini or putting bits on a reasonably good condition Mini, and it's not just a bodge, you might as well just spend that little bit, little bit extra and make sure the parts that you're putting on are what they need to live up to. So that's it for this sort of little episode. What I will be doing is doing another video, kind of fitting all these parts. I've got a few other bits and bats I need to do. I've got to spray the front balance and just finish off that wheel arch, but I'm not going to do that because it's boring. And then I'll do another video just kind of showing what I, how to fit all these and how I do it. So if you've liked this video, please let me know. And if you want to see anything else, get in the comments. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed and commented on the last video. It actually blew my mind how many people subscribe and commented and actually watched the video which I didn't really expect that for, just for a bit of a laugh so I shall see you in the next one